Hey guys, Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here. Um, coming at you with a little video. I had said I was going to try and do a Stitch With Me video um, sometime before we left. That did not happen. Um, and there's a reason for that. It is because I had heard from my friend CJ that she put another box in the mail for me. If you remember, she's the one that sent me that big box that had all that wonderful fabric in it. That was from her home in Minnesota. She is now down in her winter home in Sarasota, in Florida, and um, she packed up the stuff she had there and sent it to me. So we're gonna open this here in a second. Um, today is packing day, laundry day, cleaning day. I'll open this while I'm chatting here. Um, I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at it, so I should have my glasses in here, actually. Um, today's packing day, moving day, or not moving day, um, packing day, cleaning day, laundry day, as we leave first thing tomorrow morning. The apartment is back together. They put the flooring in yesterday, um, so we were able to get back in last night. Um, for those that aren't, maybe didn't see it on Stitch Mania, I post on Stitch Mania and Friday off the, off the grid, um, the Facebook groups that Sasha did pass his rabies test, his third one. So, um, in that regard, we are good to go. All right. Let's go. So, CJ, wow, she put yarn in here, <laughs> the last thing I need is more yarn, <laughs> but there's other goodies too. So, let us start, nothing else in here, right, nothing hiding. So this is another piece of gorgeous fabric, this one kind of has a Kind of a yellowish. That's pretty, pretty true. Maybe a little bit darker there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, looks like it's a 32. I don't see any tags on this one. I'm thinking of kitting up the Warm Winter Woolens by Little House Needleworks. And I think that'd be really good. Oh. Speaking of Little House Needleworks, spot of coffee. I'm going to be squinting. I don't have my glasses here. Coffee by the something I can't read. I'm going to pause you all. Um, so this Little House Needleworks, spot of coffee. Coffee by the candle's light warms a heart into the night. Oh, that's very pretty. Okay. Another little house rose sampler. This one is from a store down in Venice, Florida. That probably isn't there anymore. Needlepoint Ivy, I've never heard of it. Jack in the Patch, oh that's pretty. So this is more of a counted, a counted canvas des design. That's really cute. Simple stitches make mine a tropical Christmas. Oh, isn't that funny? Sample stitched on 28 count crossed wing collection. And it looks very much like the fabric I'm using in um, my Harbor Haven. The tropical Christmas. This will be very apropos. And this actually has little flip flop buttons. Aren't those adorable? Mostly gentle art sampler threads and then something called K braid. Oh, chronic. Okay. Very nice. Oh, wow. There's some, some of the Prairie Schooler Santas 2017 and 2018. Awesome. I've been thinking about getting some of these and I haven't. So thank you very much, CJ. Oh, Nina has come to visit. It's okay, kitty. Not to worry. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. Moon and Stars by Little House. The Moon and the Stars 
twinkling over my head are hung from the night with invisible thread. Isn't that pretty? And look at that. It's the full kit. So the fabric and the floss are all in there. That is awesome. Very nice. Oh, more Prairie Schooler Santas. Looks like these must have been printed out by, no, hmm, these might be, these might be, uh, no, no. Oh, I don't know why, I guess you sent me the working copies as well, that's what those are. So we have 2016, 2015, and 2014. Oh my God, how awesome is that? There's more. Oh, wait, did I just put those back? I guess I put those back down in the box. That's 27 and 2018, 2017, 2018 again. Oh, wow. Home of a needleworker, Little House Needleworks. I've looked at this and looked at this and never got it. And again, it has the fabric in it. 32 count Glenshe Natural. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I think she must have had all of the Little House Needleworks ones. Wow. Okay, so this one is Simple Joys. Simple Joys, Simple Life. And it has a couple of the flosses in. Wow. That's so pretty. This one is Lakeside Lodge with the little bears. I remember seeing Chelsea working on this in the summer. That is really cute. Here's another one with the fabric in it. This is a Stitcher's Prayer. Oops. Very nice. The fabric is a Let's see, 32 count Strath Flax. Not sure what Strath means. Do you see that? Strath Flax. Strath more, but I think that's a paper company. So that's another 32 count. Boy, that has a nice feel to it. Huh. Very cool. And so that chart is a stitcher's prayer while stitching threads with gentle care i pray this humble little prayer that with this work the world may see the beauty in simplicity very pretty let's see the counting house with little sheepies that is awesome gorgeous Colonial Homes, Revere, Allen, Adams, Madison, Hale, Jefferson, Henry, Hancock, and Ross. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, there, there's a whole stack, look, whole stack of the, I think these are all Little House Needleworks. P Peace and Plenty, chart number 19. Some of these I've never even seen, so. That's pretty darn cool. Oh, over the river and through the woods. I love this one. And again, it has the fabric. This is a pretty fabric. Oh, and the flosses are hiding in here as well. How awesome is that? At least some of them. Nice. Fabric is 28 count Monet Blue. It's pretty. It's a, it's a pale blue, so that's pretty true. Pine Top Lodge. Look how pretty that is. I love these wintry. As much as I can't stand winter, I love the wintry charts. Again, with a little bear. The bookshelf. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Season of growth. Oh, are all the seasons in here? Oh, yay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's start. Where's the beginning? I guess we're starting at December. 
season of rest, December, January, February. It's not focusing very well. Season of hope, March, April, and May for spring. Season of growth, summer. June, July, August. And season of plenty, autumn. September, October, November. Boy, that really doesn't want to... Doesn't want to focus very well. And then we have the herb garden. The herbs in my garden are planted to share with family and friends and the little brown hair. That's really cute. All right, and then we have some little packages of Lizzie Kate. Oh, oh, these are these little stand-up things. Or they can be made to be stand-up things. Flossy claws. Lizzie Kate. That's really cute. And then needle nick. And so they have the, the little basket, the, the fabric to do it on. I assume that, oh, there's some whisper in there for the fuzzy stuff and then the finishing. Again, basket, beads, buttons, finishing fabric. Very cool. All right, I'm trying to dig around all the, the yarn here. I'll show that last. All right, here's another Liz Lizzie Kate. <laughs> Life's a beach. Yay. And again, it has the fabric and the floss. Looks like a bigger fabric there. Must be what came with the, the kit. White flip-flop limited edition kit. Okay. Nina's climbing on things. Let's see. Flip flop days. I mean, are all these going to be totally apropos or what? Flip flop days. Again, with the fabric and the floss and buttons. Very cute. Oh my goodness. Well. One of the tingles. Let's see. So this is the tingle with eek and creepy. And then a little piece of fabric in there. It's a pretty, pretty color. And then we have Let's see. Frosty Santa Nutcracker. That says that's a Marine Appleton. So that may be over one. Very pretty. Oh, it's an ornament. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. And let's see. Oh, that's the finishing instructions for the ornament. This is a big wad of papers. 2003 annual ornament Frosty Nutcracker Santa. Frosty Santa Nutcracker, which is that. So just background about it, finishing stuff, things about tension, what goes where, lots of information there. And then I guess this is the fabric that came with it. CJ started to stitch it a little bit and then it was a, it was a whole 
kit, so there's all the flosses all numbered like she does. She being Maureen Appleton. That's pretty fabric. So there is that. Oh, 2016 Christmas ornament issue. Yay! You know how I like the Christmas ornament issues. Look forward to going through that. Now, yarn. Because I don't have enough yarn. <laughs> so this is Bee Sweet Bamboo. I'm sure she got this from a good yarn. And what was she making with it? She has a pattern in here. Let's see what she was making with it. I can't tell. Oh, looks like a, a wrap type of thing. Looks like it's meant for Be Sweet yarn, so that is always good. It's more of the pattern, I guess. Yeah, so that all goes together. We have various and sundry balls of yarn, skeins of yarn already wound. That's a monos by the looks of it. Monos um, Allegria, which I love Allegria. It is a wonderful yarn to knit with, very soft. That one doesn't have a um, tag in it. This one does, but it's buried in here. There's a very good chance I might have wound some of this yarn for her. Oh, the tag's really buried. I don't know what that is. Pretty color, though. And then a pretty skein of... That's really pretty. Croc Odai. I think this is knit one. Crochet two, is that what it is? <coughs> that's a very pretty color. Goodness, that's gorgeous. A Party of Five kit from Sweet Georgia. Those are gorgeous colors. Very Hawaiian. Another bag of, um, oh, this is um, Shibui's Twig. I can certainly do something with this. This, I think, is their cotton linen blend, or cotton silk, linen silk, linen silk and wool. So that would be a great summer. Oh, look, a little little ort catcher. That's kind of cool. Huh? Whoops. If I can get it to close right. Needlefish Yarns of Venice. Needlefish is a relatively new yarn store down in Venice, so that came from there. Let's see. Oh, another Counted Threads kit, or Heart's Content kit. This is the 2004 ornament. So it's a kit, that's what it has in it. Very pretty, I like that. I love it. Heart's Content. And let's see what else we have in here. We're just about down to the bottom, we just have this bag. Now CJ had told me, I don't know whether you remember, she had, um, sent me her floss and if you remember she had her flosses separated like each in in plastic bags and each bag was one of the sets of numbers like 100s 200s 300s all that um but she hadn't um she couldn't find her 200s and so when she told me that she was boxing this up i asked her just kind of jokingly if she had found her 200s and she hadn't <laughs> so she wrote back and a little later and she told me she had gone to Walmart and she bought two of all of the 200 series that they had in stock <laughs> and put it in here for me. So I thought that was just really sweet of her. So that is that. And then we have some fabric here. Holy cow. All right. So this doesn't have a tag on it, but it's just a kind of a raw linen. I don't think it's the same. It looks to be a higher count. It might still be 32, but that's a nice linen. And then look at this. Holy cow. 
this is like a whole yard. This is 35 count. I think this is a whole yard. It's witch out linen, um, dirty. Holy cow, CJ. What were you going to do with this? You know something? I bet you she got this. She did all, remember I told you she did all the, um, all the shepherd's bush stockings? I bet you she got this because she was going to do more or she thought she needed more. But this is, I mean, it's a huge piece. So you can see that. And it's 35 count. So that is awesome. That will be put to good use. Oh my God, that's awesome. CJ, thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you're getting that extra floss for me. Um, I won't use all of this. Some of this I will probably doing is, be doing as giveaways. So I hope you enjoyed that. Wow. Wow. I certainly did. So much fun. Like I said, some of it will be giveaways somewhere down the line. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Back to, let's see, what else do I have on my agenda? I have to finish folding the laundry. Um, I pretty much have all of my clothes pulled out. I know what projects I'm taking. Um, I have to do some vacuuming, eat lunch, take a nap, vote. Today we'll be voting. We're going to have early voting started yesterday in Maryland. Um, so today we'll be voting. This afternoon to get that done, we are coming back on November 6th, but we'll be so so beat by the time we get back. Even though we get back like because of the time difference, I think we get back in like like two in the afternoon, two thirty or something like that. But we'll be wiped, so we're getting our voting done, so we don't have to worry about it. So tomorrow um, we head out first thing. I will be, we're going to be doing videos like in the airport and that kind of thing, just kind of on the road type of thing. Who knows when I'll get them out. But Monday is when we do the house tours, the apartment complex tours. So be looking for those next week. Until then, happy weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.